the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who has taught the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us that by the gift of the same Spirit we may be always truly wise and ever rejoice in His consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Queen, conceive without sin. Pray for us. Praise the Lord, dear friends, and a happy feast of St. Vincent de Paul. Uh, it's my congregation feast and all the Vincentian fathers all over the world and the Vincentian family wish you a happy feast uh, as we celebrate the patron saint of um, our congregation, uh, St. Vincent de Paul, who is also the patron of all charitable works. And uh, today as we celebrate the feast, uh, uh, look with me in um, Gospel of Matthew chapter 25, uh, verse 35. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. Uh, I like this word of God so much. Uh, uh, because this word of God uh, uh, is uh, has to come alive in our lives when we have compassion towards the poor. Saint Vincent de Paul in his life uh, took care of the poor, and he uh, beyond his means uh, he helped the poor, and he also said that sell everything and give uh, to the poor uh, when it is need, and uh, he strongly uh, recommended that the poor are our masters and the charity done to the poor uh, would be credited uh, uh, to us and uh, we would be blessed by the Lord and, and giving to the poor is giving to the Lord himself and he uh, served the poor, he took care of the poor. That's why he's uh, the patron of all charitable works in Vincent de Paul who founded the Congregation of Mission and also uh, co-founded Daughters of Charity and uh, uh, my congregation, Vincentian Congregation, which started in India, has St. Vincent de Paul as the patron and Vincentian families all over are involved in uh, charitable works, uh, whether it is uh, direct um, helping the poor and also uh, feeding the poor with the word of God. Uh, we may be uh, rich, however spiritually poor, where we need the word of God. And I want you to uh, give importance in your life uh, to the poor people I have seen. Like if you have helping the poor, the Lord will bless you uh, in a ways. Um, make way, uh, don't say that uh, um, I do not have, well I am very tight uh, in my finances. Find a way, find a way uh, to help the poor and you see um, your life, uh, your soul being saved, you're getting a lot of peace and contentment. Uh, we in Canada, those living in Canada, in Europe, in North America, uh, we are so blessed. Uh, while uh, people in Africa, people uh, in Asia, um, those coming from those uh, places um, uh, really know if God has blessed you, it's time for you to bless the poor, those who do not have, there are plenty in the world, find some orphan sign, uh, some poor person that you can help and then um, the charity continues and you will be rewarded for that because it's the word of God. When I was hungry, you gave me food. When I was thirsty, uh, you gave me drink. When I was a stranger, you welcomed me. When I was naked, you clothed me. Uh, let, uh, let's pray through the intercession of St. Vincent de Paul that everybody uh, um, gets involved in helping uh, the uh, poor, not only in the spirit but physically, though materially those who are poor. Let's reach out to them, let's help them. May the good God uh, give you the grace and the big heart to help the poor. The Lord be with you, with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.